All right, so I'm going to illustrate a problem, and the problem is this. If I take a cube, go into it, I'm going to duplicate this cube. That's not the problem, but I want to illustrate something. If I take this cube and extrude it on these two faces, right click, go up here, smooth vertice. You can see this is an effect that I kind of want. I want to take this and extrude it on these two faces, inserting an edge loop going all the way around without disrupting the flow of things. And this is dis disrupting it right here. It's smoothing it in. Well, a lot like this. And how did I do that, right? That's not listed in here. I'll tell you that right now. This is called inset extrude. So let me illustrate it one more time for you because it is quite fascinating. Sometimes it's a little schizophrenic. So let me illustrate schizophrenic. Let me add a mesh. And let me divide this up. Okay. Let me grab some faces here and hit my magical buttons and it fails. Okay. Why does it fail? Not quite sure. Um, again, it is kind of schizophrenic at times. Um, I noticed if it's got a a subdivided surface, it doesn't like it too much. Now that's not saying it's not useful, that's just saying it's got some quirks. Uh, one more thing, let me add a cube. Let me add a modifier to this. Okay, let me apply that and let's go back in and try it now. I'm going to highlight random faces and something that would be totally hard to try to extrude in and put a natural edge into that scenario. So that would be really hard to do right there. Let me try it. Again, it works just fine. And now I'm able to control R and insert a nice edge going all the way around. Perfect. And then I could do wacky things like um, scale those along the normal. And I could put a nice bevel in here. Very nice. So I can use that to calculate ambient occlusion quite well. All right, so enough teasing. How did I put this in here, and how did I put a shortcut key onto it? Well, that is located here under File, User Preferences, Add-ons. And I'm going to drop down any of these add-ons. So just go to any of them, drop one down, and hit Link to Wiki. Then. I'm going to go in here and go to the scripts, mesh scripts, here's bridge, I just have to go to one of them, then I like going to modeling. Now I'm leading you to water, here is tons and tons of scripts, well 13 but still they're pretty powerful scripts. Here's insert, inset extrude, I want to say insert extrude but inset extrude and here's the link to the file now once you download that said file it goes into your add-ons directory which is located under your current build so blender 2.57 is mine scripts add-ons and you can see it right here it mesh inset extrude 
Okay. Then, when you take and restart Blender... You'll see it under all. Page down, really close to the bottom. There it is, mesh inset extrude. Okay, now let me describe how I put a hotkey onto it. So you, all you do is have to put a check mark here to activate it. And notice when I hover over this, it says mesh inset extrude, all underscore. Here, under Info, this kind of logs stuff within Blender. So what I'm going to do is steal the command via log. In other words, if I hit spacebar and type inset, here it is. Notice it has a hotkey next to it because I assigned it. I'm going to inset this just a little bit. giving me this, mesh.inset underscore extrude. Well, once I get that bit of information, it's all downhill from there. Go to user preferences. Go to input. I like going into 3D view, mesh, because this is a lot of the location of the hotkeys I use for modeling. I'll have to go to edit. And then I added a new one with the add new button. And this is the command mesh period inset underscore extrude. I put an E here and I put control alt. And I put an inset of 0.10. That gets you started. So check this out control alt E. It insets just a little bit. And then by moving my mouse right and left without clicking, I can inset it. Very cool. Then control E. Then I could do a little along normal if I wanted to. Oh, with the scale feature turned on. Very neat stuff. So, I would highly suggest you play around with that. And that is one of those must have plugins. I just wish it was listed. And how I stumbled upon it, I have no idea. But, um, yeah. Once you're done, you should probably hit or close that out and save as default. And that'll make it so it'll always be there as a shortcut, Control-Alt-E. All right, that's ex inset in extrude shortcut. Really hard to say, but enjoy.